my name is Olivia. I'm a teacher, violinist, and a coach for other musicians. Welcome to live. So uh, we had some audio issues earlier, so we're going to start again. So we're going to start with a warm up. We're going to start from D major scale and going to arpeggio, D major arpeggio, and minor arpeggio. For today, we're going to keep it a two octave. So start in third position, second finger on G string, go all the way to fourth finger on E string, and going back down. If you have your violin with you, join me. Find your D. Let's go. Ready? Go. performing 
the better your performance will be and the more confident you'll feel and the easier it'll be for you to perform. So, so what do I mean by performance mode or performance zone? So let's think about the difference between when we're practicing versus when we're performing. So when you are practicing, does it feel the same as when you're performing? Probably not. Yeah, the answer is no. Why? Because I mean, you're playing the same thing. So what's the difference between the two? So in a performance, let's think about performance. A lot of, a lot, um, most of us have some sort of stage fright. And let's talk. Let's think about why we are afraid or why we get this stage fright. Why we get nervous. So first, it's because you might think it's because of other people, right? But think about it this way. If someone's in your practice or while you practice, would you get as nervous as you would in a performance? Maybe a little bit, but not that much. So it's not necessarily other people. So what about having other people watch us or hear us play or perform that makes you nervous? So the answer is, we get nervous because we are afraid of making mistakes, which means we are hyper aware of what we are doing. So when you are performing because you're worried that you would look bad or you know people would notice your mistake, then we are so hyper aware and hyper focused on our performance or on our playing. The way that you probably might not or, or not in a practice room. So that's one. And two, it you only get one chance. In a performance, you get one chance and that's it. In a practice, you get multiple chances. So a lot of times your practice might look like this. drawing on something, it's a sheet of paper, oftentimes we think that we can just erase the mistake and do it again. You know, you're drawing a beautiful flower in a white sheet of paper and there's a, a little bit of a mistake that you can just wipe it up or erase it or even white out or whatever and then you can redraw it. But here's the thing, music happens in and can you go back in time? No. So unless somebody develops a time machine that lets you go back in time and erase your memory as well as the memories of everybody uh, in the world, you can't actually go back and fix your mistake. You can just keep going. So you, I mean, that's the only option. So when you, if, you, if you're drawing, say you're performing and it's like a drawing, you can't really erase the mistake and do it again. The only way you can fix your mistake is to get a new sheet of paper and draw it again. The difference between performance versus practicing is in a practice, you get multiple sheets, you have unlimited sheets of paper that you can get. In a performance, you only get one. So the more you get into the zone or mode of you have one sheet of paper and that's it in your practice room, the more you adapt that attitude and that mindset in the practice room and practice that way, the easier and the better your performance will be. Because that's essentially what you have to do in a performance. So what does that do? That makes you hyper-focused of your performance or your playing. And 
that eliminates a lot of unnecessary mistake and unnecessary mistake meaning if you were a little bit more focused and more careful it probably wouldn't have happened so you practice mistakes less and and you also practice performing you practice getting nervous getting pressured or perform in that environment which ultimately you will be in when you are actually performing for other people so the number one mistake that that a lot of learners make, a lot of musicians make, is they don't practice as if they're performing. They practice practicing, but they don't practice performing. And the more you can practice performing, or you practice in a performance mode, the easier it'll be for you, the more confident you'll feel, and the better your playing will be. And it's more time efficient, because you're gonna get a lot more results in a shortest amount of time. So in a, when I was in grad school, we had a studio class. So those of you who don't know what studio classes are, studio class is when uh, everybody who learns from the same teacher get together in one room and we play for each other for feedback and also the teacher's feedback. So it's basically a, like a lesson. But there are other people and, and you get feedback from them as well. And in grad school, I had to, we, we all had to play every single week for each other. So no matter how unprepared or how prepared you are and even if it's just one passage we have to do that every week and what I learned from that is I really needed to be hyper focused when I was practicing because well I had to play for other people right and by, by that forced me to get into the performing zone or performance mode on a regular basis and I found that more helpful than anything else that I've ever tried at that point. So that's why in my six month intensive program for adult musicians, Melodic Vision Academy, we have two studio classes every week where we get to practice performing and practice in a performance mode and that lets you be in that hyper focus and hyper, hyper sensitive state that gets you the maximum result in the shortest amount so if you're interested in the program, definitely let me know and we can talk about if it's a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for the program. So what did we learn today? So a lot of times, a lot of learners, musicians, and, and everybody who, who plays a musical instrument, we face, sadly, the fact that we never sound as good in the lesson as when we are practicing. It's, it's never as good as when we are practicing. And the, the one thing, the one thing that you need to know and you need to be doing in your practice to solve that is you have to practice in a performance mode. You have to practice as if you are performing. That lets you be hypersensitive and hyper-focused and that lets you practice performing as well. So instead of you know, fixing the mistake, you know, we can't really fix the mistake because you can't fix time you are practicing drawing in a sheet of paper without a mistake. And the more you do that, the easier it'll be and the better your performance will be and the more confident you'll feel. Okay, so I invite you to try that at home. When you're practicing, get into the performance mode. You have one sheet of paper and you have to draw the most beautiful flower. And But the good news is when you're practicing, you get m multiple sheets of sheets of paper. There's unlimited sheets of paper. So you, can, you get to do it over and over again. I want you to try that this week and let me know how it goes. Next week, we're work, We're going to talk about warm-ups. You know, we started our session today with a warm-up and a warm-up is something that's very important and that I truly believe in and that's going to really show you or get you a big result in your practice. So stay tuned for next week and I hope you have a good week. See you next week.